It's kind of fucked up that we used, uh, you know, the fact that she just found up, or find, I uh, found out about her dad's death, and preventing her from getting revenge to sleep with her. Honestly, I prefer not to have done it that way. Honestly, but I mean. You be honest. I don't think that's the actual reason why we got with her to begin with. The timing of it all is something I just don't like though. But that's okay. I was hoping that we would bet a million, so we did, and now she's our girlfriend. I think we got everything you need. You able to fix the pump now? Yeah, I got this shit on lockdown. Give me the parts. Shouldn't take long. She had this shit on lockdown. There you go. This is able to fake stuff too. Bad. So actually look at the achievement, see if you can see all the stuff. But we'll do that after the game though. I may do another playthrough of this game later on. If you guys actually want to see it that much. One playthrough is usually enough for me. Now that we are at full strength, we must devise a way to compromise Victor's popularity at the assembly. I've got a lead. There's this grizzled old general who's been bitching about the lack of info he gets about Aurora. Right now, he's the only one with the balls to call Victor the dictator incompetent. According to him, the Aurora dowsers down Shit Creek and may have been booted off his post. If we can prove that General is right and isn't just some senile old man, maybe the army's head honchos will be pissed enough at the colonel to kick his buns in the sun. And we would need hard evidence. I'm almost positive that Dandolo can help us. Not to send merchants everywhere, after all. We also have some connections with Technomancers over there. They should be able to tell us what happened. We could try Anton. Aurora's a little far, but there's no place that's safe from Anton's little birds. It's a start. Even if abundance is run from the top down, members of the Assembly would pay attention to uprisings. Some of your local allies could help you stir up some anger in the masses. The ASC has made their lives miserable for months. People are arrested on a whisper, live huddled in fear. It would not take much to spark the powder keg. It's a good idea, but we can't influence entire populations by ourselves. We'd need allies hidden among the people. Back when I was an artist, I got into some altercations with assembly members who thought my shows were blasphemy. Maybe it was because I didn't say hail to the shadow 50 times. I can't say for sure. But if we could get them to think that Victor isn't a devout believer, we could get the large religious sect of the assembly to revoke their support and demand his banishment. Or we could just give them a little nudge in the right direction by making them believe Victor steals relics for his own use. We'd have to stage an elaborate setup, but I like it. After all, the trickster must get what he gives. We'll need volunteers that can pretend to be ASC. The plan is right up Anton's alley. It's possible for Dandolo or the opposition to help us out too. One last thing. I was told the High Judge endorses all of Victor's decisions, even though I know for a fact that he hates him. Which is more than a bit strange. The Judge is such an honest man. Or if you're in the mood to make a scandal, I've got everything we need. Did you know that Victor employs young women to worm out information on men he keeps tabs on? And I'm not Victor, but I have a feeling he used that info to blackmail these same men. If we can prove it, the Assembly would have a major meltdown. Their beloved Colonel, a pimp. To find evidence of his trafficking, we could look for the orders he gave his goons. Have you seen his hands? Far too immaculate to be doing this dirty work himself. Back in my days as an officer, I ran into a band of girls, and I think this exploited girls topic may interest them. Maybe enough for them to help us. Indeed. How's this? I've heard that a small faction of the Assembly blindly backs up Victor, no matter how crazy the project is. 
So I believe it was certain that their chief of this faction was bribed. So unless we bribe him ourselves, we'll have to silence him. It's not ideal, but I have no way of finding out what dirt the ASC has on that man. We'll have to go without his support and hope we can get enough voters elsewhere. All these ideas will indeed cut off Victor from his support network. But This is going to sound self-interested, but if we could help the mutants escape from the pen, it would expedite the Colonel's downfall. The people and the Assembly would be outraged to know that after decades of civilized control, Victor was the one who couldn't keep them in check. I'd like to see the Colonel try to justify his mistake of so many slaves, particularly ones notorious for their feeble minds. No, it's not selfish. It's a good plan. We're gonna help mutants in the pen prepare their escape. After a mass breakout like that, his reputation will never be the same. Thank you, all of you, for the ideas. Now let's make them happen. Guess we're not as finished as we thought. As I originally thought, my God. Jesus. Earn the definite reward, dollars winning ally. Divine disapproval. Find ASC uniforms. Dang, I just sold all of them. Mr. Watcher's AD Affairs. Get information about the black market from the black dollars. Oh, that's what the name. Powder in the Wheels. Meet the leader of the uh, corralled mutants. Anything else? Find relics. Is that all? Uh, I guess we still got about three more hours left. Hi. Zachariah, to what do I owe this privilege? Uh, I, I guess I'm wrong like three hours. I thought I, I knew I was gonna have to do another stream after this one. Now we'll be in turn three hours because this stream is gonna go on for another 80 minutes, and that stream is gonna go on for two hours. That's three hours and 20 minutes. That should be enough. I got your well taken care of. No more creature, and it runs like new. A man of your word. Take this for your time and help. And if you have more time to help us, a serious matter has come to my attention. Our observers in Ophir report that a mutant group there now faces execution. Punishment for refusing to complete their tasks. Probably fixing the city's shutters. Aurora's attacks blew a hole in Ophir's roof, considering how important it is to get it fixed. Humans hurt other humans and mutants face death. Yes, well, they are being held apart from the rest. They must be saved, Zachariah. I'll do what I can. Can't guarantee anything, though. Your best is better than our nothing. My brothers in Ophir have suffered enough. I believe correctly, that's where we originally found uh, Phobos, or well, saw Phobos, independent. Let's talk to him. Greetings, Zachariah. Greetings. Rumor is Aurora's dowser was deposed. I need to know it's more than rumor, though. If it's true, we might be able to convince some members of the assembly that Victor needs to go. Even though I don't like the idea of continuing the conflict between Abundance and Aurora, that has caused so much suffering. If it's what needs to be done to dethrone Victor, I have a few contacts among Aurora's Technomancers. They're not quite brothers, but they're at least like cousins. And I've heard their messengers nearly always follow one particular shadow path. Let me show you. This one here. If you go, you may be able to stop one of their couriers. If the news you're expecting is as important as you say, I'm sure it will be in the documents they are carrying. Thanks, Melvin. Zachariah, I've received a message from Dandolo. He has some information on the disappearance of patients. Really? Did he learn where he was taken? The ASC had him locked up in an old dome near Ophir. In his message, he says that it's a dome that Technomancers used to use. Does this sound familiar to you? Hard to forget. Yes. That's where initiations would take place before Amantis destroyed everything. We'll have to go free him. The place must be teeming with soldiers fighting for Victor. But we can't leave the old Technomancer in their hands. Back to the old dome we go. Man, they're just laying on the stuff. I thought we were, like, Jesus. That's a lot of stuff. 
Alrighty then. So where do we want to go first? The old dome? Dandola? Ophir? Actually, let's go back. I want to talk to Scott. There's no point in opening his chest. It's probably an achievement for opening all the chests, so honestly, thinking about it. That doesn't seem like an impossible thing to do in this game. Zachariah! Okay, not yet. I don't think his quest line is done. Hers is, though. Thing is, she became our girlfriend, and uh, we found our father. I believe Glorious is done too. Was her name Gloria? No, her name's not Gloria. What's her name? Nisha, there you go. Uh, potentially, if we didn't have Amelia in our party, we could have uh, got with a uh, Amelia? I'm not sure if that's how that works, or would have worked, but. I can only speculate at this point. Alright, find ASU uniforms, find relics, canyon, go to the old dome. At the start of the evening. Is it the start of the evening? Oh, we can just save. Alright. What we're going to do first is go to the old dome. This is as far, far the most important. Square one. Damn, that's weird. But I thought the dome was in ruins. So then, where did they put that old geezer? There should be a few standing structures next to the ones that collapsed. Unless they've already started clearing the rubble. That sounds like bad news. It would be. There were secrets in those ruins. I would rather have stayed buried. Especially from the ASC. That's the problem with secrets. All that time spent worrying about someone finding out. It's a burden that turns into a habit, that turns into obsession. I know you're just as scared about what's in the dome as what patients might reveal. I just hope the old man's still holding on. He's as stubborn as an unfed ostrich. But I don't know if it'll be enough in the hands of the ASC. Poor patience. He thought he was finally safe in Noctis. Instead, we threw him straight back into Victor's arms. What do you mean? We saved him from that camp. It's just... We must have attracted the attention of Victor's spies when we asked Dandolo to keep an eye on him. He was supposed to be just another nobody in Noctis, but our request ended up selling him out. These thugs, more like cavemen with bigger sticks, don't understand respect, science, age, or knowledge. Any problem they can't solve, they'll use torture. What's two plus two? Uh, I don't know. Let's torture the mathematician and find out. Fish. Ugly brutes. If they take power in abundance, they'll turn it into a Darwinistic jungle. A whole group of psychopaths wanting to take control of everything through mindless violence. Sounds like this story hits close to home. It's true. I understand what that poor Technomancer must be going through. The pain. So, I hope we find him soon. I wonder how they're going to interact from now on. This is where you were initiated. Yeah, but the dome was in better condition. The ASC weren't here. There was a giant mantis, though. A giant mantis? Don't tell me that was part of the initiation. No, <laughs> the area had decoys dressed as thieves. The monsters were unplanned. Though I learned a lot from the experience. If it weren't for my master, I would have died down there. Must be strange coming back. All the memories. I knew at some point we we're gonna have to come back here. It's only fitting, right? You usually come back to the first place you ever go in a video game. That's a, a common trend, honestly. Although this place does look extremely different. No, it doesn't. We're coming around from this side. Gotcha. I understand. I wanted to go through here the first time, but this was locked. Level three, level one. Give me your loot box. Give me your loot. Decoys dressed as these. Yeah, because we're down here. 
We couldn't open that before because it was locked. ASC soldier? You dare stand in my path all by yourself? Oh, he's not by himself. But he was rather weak. Oh, he just took a shot to the face, me. We're actually not even taking that much damage now, honestly. I say that, but I'm still probably gonna die because I'm playing like a, a new. Ow, 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 Let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I'm just trying to heal, buddy. Leave me be. Yeah, after upgrading our armor, we don't take nearly as much damage. You're just lucky, because he's actually alive. I can stab him in the back seeing as I bought all those, uh, those things. Oh. Maybe we can get ASC suits from these guys. Maybe, but maybe not. That'll be too easy. This game doesn't really do easy. This game is all about the backtracking. This is the way we came in before through the train. I wonder what's new and what's not. It looks the exact same, honestly. It's almost as if the giant mantis didn't destroy anything. Suspicious. That's weird. We usually find a bunch of things on the AC soldiers. Actually, let's get back a little bit. Let's, uh... I don't want these, though. Pain. I already did that. Critical chance, disruption effect. I don't even know what we want. Let's just... Will, will we go for the achievement? Or do we go... Well, let's just go for the achievement, I guess. That's a wasp. What's that doing right there? Or is that a spider? It's weird. Let's do that. Let me shine my light on that real quick. That's just eternity. That's a big whatever it is. This is chilling on a wall. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do about it. It's just chilling on the window. And if I hit the window, the window may break. That's why I have problems with freaking creatures on the windows and whatnot. Go on fragile objects. Cause I like to hit things. I'm not sure about you guys. But as soon as it comes off that window, it's mine. About to hit the thing with full power. Up, oh, he turned around. I guess he didn't see me. Okay. Power up and see how much damage you do with that sort of stuff. Oh, come on. I'll take one more hit. I like how you stuck back. That's the wrong way, man. There you go. We're actually doing it. Sorry, I'm looking at the thing on my window. It disappeared there for a second. I'm not even sure what it's doing. I think I actually healed Lucky by mistake. And not paying full attention. I 
I'm about to kill that thing soon. It's bad for my nerves. This is essentially just the same area, except with uh, ASC instead of um, the these. At this point, not even the ASC can stop me. I'm too powerful. I say is there's a whole group of them. It's a shield dude. That did not work at all. There you go. Nice and easy. You just do so much damage at this point. A little bit. Okay, one of them's in. He's dead. Shoot him with the gun. You can get that bleed. Oh, well, never mind. He's dead too. Well, it happens. Definitely a lot easier than the first time you came through here, honestly. I'm putting in the work. I'm gonna just take an old shirt or an old pair of pants. I'm just gonna smack that thing with all to get uh the force out. I shouldn't break the window. If it just so happens to fall on the ground, then I mean, and it's dead for real, for real. I'm just wait for it to uh, get in a better spot. I believe I saw an enemy right here. Oh, he did go this way. Okay. Hi. And he thought. Go back to the Ranger saw. Well, that's overpowered. Do that from the game, like that. And he blocked it. Let's take care of all the other guys besides the shield guy. That seems a lot easier for me. There you go. Can you believe this is on our difficulty? This has just gotten that used to this game. I'm not even sure why I'm looting these guys anymore. At this point, I really don't need anything that they have. Oh uh, yeah, because I came back here, I can actually open all these locked chests. No, I just gotta remember where they are. So I'll go over here first. A bunch of ASC soldier over here. What you? There's a big boy. I'm gonna power up and I'm gonna. Oh, you saw me. I got powered up. Let's take care of the shield guy first. Oh, never mind. They're both dead. All in the day's work, I guess. I'm just that good. I can't be stopped. Okay, I was wondering, like, what enemy? Sorry, you have to die first. I really don't like enemies with guns in this game. All back. Should be able to hit them all. Oh, you're a techno Where did you come from? Ooh, this is a bad spot. Let me, uh, get back up here real, uh, real quick. Amelia shouldn't die. I shouldn't die. The big boys are actually a real problem for me. 
most of the time, anyway. But look at that. Lucky doesn't even die in one shot anymore. We're definitely making progress. I wasn't gonna hit him. Need this. Thank you, okay. We almost died there. I wasn't paying any attention. Really wish there was a loot all button. Not loot all, there is a loot all button. Like, uh. Loot everything in the immediate area button. Looting just takes you all. At this point, I actually should probably save again. That was a good amount of enemies that I don't want to fight again. If you want me to be completely honest with you. And I really hope they don't respawn after I come back up here. I'm pretty sure the old guy is in the dome. And that's where we have to go. Because last time we didn't come back out, we were teleported to the, uh, the sanctuary of Technomancers. Because we almost overloaded and we died almost. You know, giant mantis, all that other good stuff. And they're not taking mantis, I forgot. Yeah, their weapons electrify too. <sighs> he got back up before I can end his life. Ooh, crap, he hurts. This is the exact time that I pull out this. Shield on shield. Shield on shield violence. Go ahead and hit him in the back, Lucky. There you go. Wish you were just a little bit stronger so I can equip you with the better uh, stuff. But I guess it really doesn't matter at this point. One more body? Might as well completely clear out this area. Get as much experience as I can before we fight the final boss. At least one more level so I can get an achievement. Oh, he's right here. Guess we're not going in there. Fortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Oh, we got a key. Open sesame? Alan Mercer, uh, Mancer. Where you at, buddy? I know you're here. Break up! Patience, come on! Damn it, they almost killed him. Stop! Let me go. I won't tell you it! Zack? Zack? Holy shit, is it really you? What the hell happened to you? I was on the way back to my place. There, there was someone behind me, and, and before I could turn, he was on me. Next thing I knew, I woke up in a cell. Ugh, they tortured me for days. Wanted me to talk, wanted me to tell them everything I knew about you. Where you were, what you were doing, what we found. You figure out what the tablet said? Unfortunately. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to tell them anything, but I, I just finished when they found me. What did it say? It talked about a giant research base that was able to keep in contact with Earth. They had a beacon and gave the base's coordinates. I mean, the coordinates weren't up to date anymore, so I had to recalculate them, but it's in the South Pole, Zack. It's protected by a huge layer of ice. What did you tell him? At the beginning, I fought, Zack. I did. I fought. Didn't say a damn thing. Then, then Victor came, and the shit he did to me, Zack, you have no idea. I didn't tell him everything. I, I didn't, but, but I had to tell him something, or, or I told him what I found in the tablet. Everything. I'm so sorry. I, I, Stop. I... It's, it's fine. You did what you could. Everyone's got a breaking point. If you can walk, we need to get out of here. I can. Let me, let me try. Just, just let me rest a minute. Just, just a minute. All right. Let's untie you and get you out of here. Where's Alan at? I 
like that little bitch. You about to catch these hands. Uh, no, no, never mind. He's not here. Doesn't matter the way he's just walking out of here peacefully.